And welcome back to another video. We all know that certain videos on YouTube have a large audience and videos pertaining to padlocks happens to be one of them. In this video I'm going to show you something that I designed to be used with 2 inch padlocks to greatly increase the security of that padlock. This padlock here is irrelevant. It's just for demonstration purposes only to show you how well this is going to work. But when you do purchase a lock, ideally you want one with steel locking balls and pick resistant pin tumblers. What I made right here can also be used with some combination padlocks. Now we all know the most common way for a criminal to get into your property such as a storage shed, a storage locker, or even a gate is to use a bolt cutter. Now the reason why they use a bolt cutter is because it's very fast. The typical criminal is not going to sit there trying to pick the padlock because they know the longer they spend at the location the higher the odds are that they're going to get caught. So it's much easier to walk up with a bolt cutter, cut the shackle, pull it off, grab your possessions and leave than it is to sit there picking the lock. Most criminals are also not going to be carrying cutoff tools because it's way too noisy and it's only going to alert others. Now what this is, is a padlock shackle protector. It's extremely strong. It's made out of 3 16 or actually a little thicker, maybe 7 30 seconds, thick steel, 3 inch by 3 inch. You can pick these up at Home Depot. They're known as anchor bolt plates. Going through the center is a half inch bolt. It's welded on the inside, so if somebody thinks they're going to be grinding this outside away to pop the plate off to make it easy to get to the padlock, they're going to be deeply mistaken. And it's also welded on this side here and on the other side here. You can see a window's been cut and that window measures, let's see, right here. In my case it's just over a half of an inch and it's around three quarters of an inch deep and that's perfect if you're using a storage locker, a shed with a hasp, or even many types of gates. Keep in mind if you'd like to use very thick chain, two ends placed inside here, you're going to have to make this a little larger, this U-shaped opening, to accommodate the two chain links and then you could slide the shackle through and lock it down. In a couple of minutes I'm going to take this outside, give you a demonstration on a shed. And it is a little windy outside, so I'm hoping you could hear everything on the camera pretty well. The space between the two plates is, let's see, one and an eighth inch. And that's uniform all the way around. And on the very bottom, you can see there's a steel plate the same thickness and what that does it serves two purposes once the padlock is in position it's going to be up against this base leaving a little bit of space it's going to ensure that the top part of this shackle is kept low enough so there's no chance any cutter can hit it from the top and it's also going to make it extremely difficult for anyone to try and get a cutoff wheel inside here to try and cut that center bolt that's two inches in. So if you're using a four inch cutoff wheel it's going to be difficult because the body of this padlock is going to be right down here. There's not going to be any play, just enough for the padlock to move around. So you're going to have to come in from the side, down from the top, and even the top is going to give you limited space because it's going to be against your storage locker or shed. Even if you do manage to cut this bolt it's not going to do you any good because the steel plate at the bottom you will not be able to reach because of the angle and its proximity to the padlock. So the bolt goes right through the center and on the bottom you have that plate. Let's measure that plate right here. And it looks like it is three quarters of an inch wide and the full width in between these two plates that I mentioned earlier. 
you're going to center this plate on that bolt and you're going to make it just enough that when the padlock closes there's just a little bit of play up and down the spacing from the bottom edge to the face of this plate where everything is nice and smooth is three quarters of an inch let me show you what this looks like right now with the padlock on it right here let's open this up okay so this would go onto your gate this would go over lock it and this is going to be pushed up higher of course here you can see the shackle is way in you're not going to be able to get any kind of hydraulic cutter the popular one shown on YouTube like you see right here or an ordinary bolt cutter like this one here to get the jaws to open to be able to get to that shackle right here you can see the way this is you'd have your part of your gate the hasp or a chain going through here and this is on the very top and you're still not going to be able to get to that using a bolt cutter okay let me take this outside and give you a demonstration okay we have this hasp right here it's a thick piece of steel sometimes it's laminated steel which is much harder to cut using bolt cutters but for this demo we'll be using this one Turn that on. push it in, move the key, taking an angle grinder like this right here is not going to work well, you're never going to be able to cut through this, it's too close to the wall, and you'd have to cut at a very long diagonal, even if you could use a cutoff tool like this, to get through that shackle, and it's going to be a lot more work cutting at a long diagonal than it is to cut straight down. Keep in mind, if this was a cheaper padlock, you can't even shim the padlock to get it open. This prevents shimming as well. That's it. Extremely strong. The only way to get in here would be to use a cutoff wheel at the very top to cut this off and maybe reach from the bottom, if you could, and pick the lock. That's the only two ways. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.